Hey guys, Jonathan here with the Blue Wizard Project just coming at you with the next part of my playthrough of Mega Man and Base on the Super Nintendo slash Game Boy Advance. Uh, unfortunately, I goofed on this one, guys. Before I started the game, I changed my sound settings a little bit and uh, I guess I didn't tweak them just right. So unfortunately, the background music was just a little bit too loud and it left my voice like a little bit too quiet in the background like most of Ian's early videos, which I think is unacceptable. So Ian... Uh, you pretty much fixed it, so I feel like I can't let that slide this time. So, uh, I decided to just do a voiceover on this one. I cut out most of the stages as nothing really that eventful happened, and you guys will see me play through them all again anyway when I play through base, so it's not that big of a loss. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys the boss fights, and there's one mid-stage boss that I'm going to throw in there as well. Um, I'll also be showing you guys only my winning runs, because at this point, you've seen me die a million times, so... You've seen it enough at this point in the Mega Man franchise. Um, that being said, let me know what you guys think of the shorter format. If the abrupt video, it's, I think it's like six or seven minutes on this one, is more to your guys' liking, I'll keep it up in the future and kind of streamline the process. Uh, if not, I'll go back to the way things were and we'll do it business as usual. So let me know what you think in the comments and uh, we'll shape the future videos off of that. Anyway, without further ado, here is Mega Man and Base on the SNES. Catch you guys later. Okay guys, first up we have Burner Man. Uh, this guy actually wasn't that much of a challenge. I think I did like three times to this guy, including the first time when I got there with low HP. So, pretty simple stuff on this guy. Uh, you just jump when he charges you with his head sword dildo thing and then push him into the uh, spikes that he set on the side with the ice trap. Uh, you just keep jumping over him and rinse and repeat. Pretty easy stuff. Uh, you can actually push him without hurting him, which kind of sucks because it wastes your power. Um, that happens if there's too much space between you and the end of the runway when you first push that ice wall. But honestly, this guy was a huge step down in difficulty from some of the other bosses. Alright guys, next up we have Pirate Man. First off, this guy has a really stupid name in my opinion. I don't know what it is, but somewhere around Mega Man 6 I started really not liking some of the character names like uh, Turbo Man in 7, Clown Man in 8, Pirate Man in this one. Um, something about it just doesn't gel well with me. I don't know if it's just because I'm an older guy and I prefer the old school Mega Man names over the slightly less old school Mega Man names, uh, but I just didn't really care for him. Uh, you don't really see it in this video, but this guy is actually quite difficult. He does this move where he like drops the water and puts himself in a bubble and just goes back and forth and just wrecks you. So this guy might give me some trouble in the end. Maybe not Ring Man difficult, but right. still difficult. This is the side boss I was telling you guys about. Um, the thing that's annoying with this guy is that he follows uh, smaller patterns, but not a larger pattern. So every time you fight him, you have to kind of adjust on the go. Uh, you can see that one part he does this thing with a series of ups and downs. I'm not even going to attempt to line this uh, voiceover with that scene of animation. But he'll do this series of ups and downs, and that's the best time to hit him. It's really easy to uh, deal a lot of damage to him at that part. Unfortunately, he doesn't do that pattern all that often. And he'll spend a lot of time just like going up and down the walls way too high for you to hit him. Uh, he also has kind of an unnecessarily large amount of HP. A lot of the Mega Man games do this with some of the mid bosses, like just artificially boost their difficulty by making them bullet sponges. I really kind of hate that. Uh, this guy wasn't too hard. He's just annoying because it usually when's this fight going to end. Um, but he wasn't as bad as like, say, the floating head dude in Wily's Castle in 7. Overall, not too bad of a fight. Um... I kind of feel like I've seen this enemy before in another game. I could be wrong. It wasn't one that I already beat. Maybe there's a bad guy that's similar to this in the future. I don't know. Maybe somewhere in the X series. Um, if you guys know, just leave it in the comments. But um, yeah, he wasn't too bad and it was fairly easy to move on to the next part. Okay, moving along, uh, we have Ground Man. Uh, he isn't too bad. His moves kind of wreck you when they hit you. But they did a really good job of telegraphing what he was going to do. Like you can see up at the top, there's this little rumble bit that happens before he drops the drills down and stuff like that. So it's not nearly as bad as like, uh, what was it, Slash Man in Mega Man 7 where he'll jump down and drop stuff from the ceiling. But you have no way to tell where anything's coming from. So you kind of feel like if you get hit in this one, it's your own fault. Like you should have seen the signs and moved out of the way. Uh, the main thing about this guy that I find weird is that like drill thing on his pelvis. I'm not quite sure what Wiley was going for with that. Is that supposed to be the guy's dick? Is it like a weird Audi belly button? Is it like some perverted combination of the two? I have no idea. 
Uh, weird choice by uh, Dr. Wiley. Weird little uh, drill penis bit there that he made for that right, guy. Yep. So, uh, But yeah, this guy wasn't too hard, and uh, I think it took me like three or four times to get through this one. And this is the last guy that I fought in this playthrough. This was Tengu Man. Uh, he reminds me a lot of Storm Eagle in Mega Man X, if you've played that one, which you should, because it's probably the best Mega Man game ever made. Uh, but he's obviously not as cool as um, Storm Eagle. Uh, he's pretty easy to beat with that drill move that I got from Ground Man, but he can land on you. There aren't many bad guys in Mega Man that can hurt you when you hurt them, but it's kind of a pain, but not too bad. He almost killed me from beyond the grave with this tornado move at the end, you can see. But uh, again, overall, pretty easy fight. Okay, guys, that's it for that playthrough that I did. Originally, that was supposed to be several different playthroughs that were about 15 minutes or so. Um, Ian and I wanted to try to condense the video so it was a little bit easier for you guys to watch so you're not slogging through as much of the game. You're not seeing us die over and over and backtracking and all that stuff. Uh, if you like the way that this worked out, let me know. Put it in the comments. And if you like this kind of format, I'll make more videos like that. If not, I'll keep tweaking it and tooling it so that it'll be a little bit easier on you guys to get through all the games, especially because we still have, uh, at this point, I think 21 or 22 Mega Man games to go still. So there's still a lot ahead of us, plus all the extra side content and stuff like that. Again, sorry for having to cut this one so short. Uh, unless you prefer it, then I totally meant to do it, and you're welcome. Uh, anyway, please remember to like and subscribe down below. Check out the Blue Wizard Project on Facebook, see what we're doing, see what events are going on at the time you're watching this, and anything else that the Blue Wizard Project is up to will be on that Facebook group, also linked below. Also, if you get a chance, please donate to the Mid-Ohio Food Bank if you can. Uh, even a little bit goes a long way. For every dollar you give, they can buy $10 worth of groceries. You guys have heard me say it a million times, but um, yeah, any little bit you can give goes a long way, so we appreciate that. If you do give directly through their website, please make sure you let us know so that we can enter you in any drawings, and we can also add it towards our total. So thanks, guys. Again, this has been Jonathan for the Blue Wizard Project. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.